We're learning more every hour about the young lives taken in this massacre, and every single one of them is gutting, like that of Lexi Rubio. Yesterday morning, Felix and Kimberly Rubio attended an honor roll celebration for their 10-year-old daughter, Lexi. And then just hours later, the Uvalde gunman took this precious child's life. CNN's Jason Carroll spoke with these grieving parents. Jason, what are they telling you? I mean, Felix and Kimberly Rubio showed an incredible amount of strength, as you can imagine, to, to be able to speak with us. Uh, but they wanted uh, to share their thoughts with everyone who was watching this about their daughter, Lexi. She was 10 years old. She was in the fourth grade. She loved softball. She loved basketball. Uh, they had gone to the school. Her mother was saying just about 30 minutes after they left the school yesterday morning, the shooting, the shooting happened. She kept saying over and over, she said, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I left her there. So you can imagine the incredible amount of guilt this poor woman is dealing with. Uh, her father saying that, and he's a Uvalde County Sheriff's deputy. And he said, look, he said at this point, he goes, I've had enough. I've had enough with the guns. I don't want my daughter's name to be just another name. Uh, again, uh, they took moments to share with us their thoughts about their daughter. We now want to share it with you. I wanted to take her life. <laughs> all I can hope is that she's just not a number. Hopefully something gets resolved. That's all we ask. Hopefully something gets resolved. I know this is very difficult, but w what would you like to get resolved? What would you like to see resolved at this point? Damn violence, guns. I'm a cop. I'm a deputy here in Uvalde County. This is enough. This is enough. No one else needs to go through this. We never needed to go through this, but we are. Thank you. As you can see there, she's uh, surrounded there, uh, the parents by her brothers and sisters, um, other relatives as well there on the front porch. Uh, she was telling me that, I said, what did Lexi want to be when she grows up? And she said she always wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, she works at a law office as well. And so at this point, it's just an incredible amount of pain uh, that they're dealing with. We've seen pain like this before. I covered Sandy Hook, speaking with parents there. And then one of the things that I remember saying even then was, my God, I hope I never have to deal with this and see something like this again. And here we are again today. Oh. Uh, but again, this family wants people to know about their daughter. And, and the overarching message that, that we got was that they just did not want her to be another name. Of course not. I mean, this was their honor roll daughter. This was their honor roll student. The idea that they had to go from an honor roll celebration to a massacre, was that one of the responding officers, that deputy? He was one of the responding officers. And so um, you can imagine what he was dealing with um, and, and showing up and trying to figure out uh, if his daughter had survived. Uh, so, and again, it's the guilt that seeing these parents, this family, deal with this overwhelming amount of guilt because she kept saying, you know, I just left her there. She said, it's my fault. I said, it's not your fault. You're supposed to be able to leave your child at school and have them be safe. Yes. That's what you're supposed to be able to do in this country. Uh, Jason Carroll, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, of course, Lexi is not the only young life. Uh, Jose Flores. Junior, he was 10 years old. What we know about him is that he loved baseball and video games. And his father said he was always full of energy and ready to play till the night. And an amazing big brother to his younger siblings. There's 10 year old Uzziah, Uzziah Garcia. Uzziah, his grandfather, described him as the sweetest little boy that I've ever known, calling him a great kid, full of life. Loved anything with wheels and video games. He leaves behind two sisters. Javier Lopez was just 10 years old. His mother, Felicia Martinez, told the Washington Post that Javier was funny, never serious. She said, that smile I will never forget. It would always cheer anyone up. She said that she had just taken this photo of him also making the honor roll at that very same, same ceremony and not realizing that would be the last time she saw her son alive. Martinez said he really couldn't wait to go to middle school. 
There was 10-year-old Amari Jo Garza. She was also killed. Her father posted this message online. Quote, thank you for everyone, everyone for the prayers and trying to help me find my baby. She's been found. My little love is now flying high with the angels above. Please don't take a second for granted. Hug your family, tell them you love them. I love you, Amari Jo. Watch over your baby brother for me. CNN spoke with the local justice of the peace who said he only expected three victims at most when he was called to the scene. He told us, quote, when I have to sign 21 death certificates, my heart drops.